Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Mama Ro, and today we are hashtag cooking with Mar. So today I'm making a chicken fajita and sausage pasta. I don't know, it's something that I've seen going viral on a post on social media. So I was like, why not go ahead and try it? And first off, let me start by saying this. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, make sure y'all click like and leave me a comment and let me know if you guys um, decide to make it. If you guys wanna give me any tips and let me know anything, go ahead and do that too. But let me start by saying this. A lot of people make this assumption that pretty women cannot cook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring some of my honest friends to come through and try it and I promise you, I didn't tell nobody this. I'm not gonna tell nobody. Taste this, um, act like it tastes good. And you know, it's for my YouTube channel. Nope, come try it. And I'm gonna get their reaction right on camera. Just so y'all can know what it's really giving. A lot of people be sleep on pretty women. So that's something I wanna talk about real quick. Stop underestimating people. Like, I think with me being like a female artist and me being a rapper and stuff like, Men be just assuming like, oh, she can't cook or she's pretty. I just think not just me. Let me not single myself out and make it about me. Just women in general that are beautiful, that have things going for themselves. We're not self-centered. We're selfish, but we're not self-centered. You know, I definitely am in my selfish year where it's all about me, but I would cook for somebody if they deserve it. Hashtag, if they deserve it. So yeah, so let me tell y'all about some of the ingredients. Gotta have the Parmesan. And yeah, it was a couple other things that we had in the fridge. Definitely gonna spray with one of those. So I'm gonna use some of my favorite seasoning. So of course everybody needs their seasoning salt. Um, Cajun chicken seasoning. Salt, pepper, garlic, salt. I love, I'm a spicy girl, so cayenne, pepper. That's gonna work for me. Let's see what else I got up in here. I'm already putting the onion in there. Of course, you're gonna need your parsley flakes. Duh. What do you mean? Okay. So let me show y'all the ingredients. You're gonna need some rotini noodles, some beef broth, heavy whipping cream, some minced garlic, tomato paste, fajita seasoning. You're gonna need a red pepper. This is yellow pepper. Well, you need some bell peppers and this pepper right here. And you're also gonna need onions. They didn't have any more white onions. So I went ahead and got some in the pack. Um, you're gonna need some Parmesan cheese. And for your meat, you're gonna need the thin sliced chicken breast, um, boneless, skinless, that's what it is. Boom. And then Cajun style smoked sausage. So let's see, this is made with pork and turkey beef. So, oh yeah extra virgin olive oil. This is not a cheap meal. I just wanna say that this is not a cheap meal, especially if you are cooking for a big family. This is not a cheap meal. This is not a cheap meal at all. But, you know, for me, I just really want to taste it. I feel like it'll be good. So if you wanna go all out for your family, go ahead and do that. I will highly recommend it. Here's all the ingredients again. And I will post the photos that I found in the post that I found so you guys can go off that. Baby, my ego is swollen. I got a lot and I'm a look or so. It's hard at keeping him focused. So let's get started. First things first. Let me get my utensils that I'll be using. Let's season it up, 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 up. Can you season your chicken with what you like? Everybody um, seasons their chicken different. Me personally, you can't go wrong with um, Laurie seasoning salt, of course. Flip it around, season the other side. And I know a lot of people might think this is common sense, but a lot of people probably are beginners and don't know how to cook, so. There's my young girls, I know a lot of young girls look at my page. Yeah, 
Chinese. You want to always keep some garlic salt, baby. Always keep garlic. Garlic is your friend when you're seasoning food. And a lot of the times, it's nice to season your food overnight and let it marinate. You know what I mean? That's actually much better. But this is kind of like abrupt and at the moment. I'm gonna season my chicken with Cajun seasoning as well. So I'll keep flipping it. I feel like this is gonna be so good, honestly. And I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on there too. And then I'm gonna wrap it up with some plastic while I cut up my veggies. Just so it can, like that seasoning and all that can really marinate in there. All right, y'all, so I now have that chicken wrapped up and I'm gonna just let it marinate. All right, so after you've seasoned your chicken, I did put some um, of the virgin olive oil inside of the pan and put it on low just so I can be started to a good start for my chicken. Um, so in the meantime, while my chicken, the seasoning is like really marinating inside of the meat, I'm gonna be cutting up my vegetables and my sausage. So let's get started with that. So like I said, we got these. And you need some onions as well. So I'm gonna chop these up. I'll start with the green pepper first. I cut everything in the way. That's not fun. Everything be in the way, baby. And I'm a big fan of like peppers, banana peppers, onions. I love all of that. So I'm with all of that. I love the, the flavor and everything that goes with it. I'm big on that. I chopped up my sausage and all my peppers. So now I'm about to put my chicken pan. It has already been warming up. I have it on like five. I'm gonna cook it on low. The top one. Yeah, I should have probably used my tongs, but I didn't. Whatever, I got to open water. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and put my lid over that and let that cook. Got the veggies in the pan. Now I've got the veggies in the pan. I put uh, the garlic powder, salt, and pepper on top of them. Now I'm going to add some tomato paste inside of there. I'm not sure exactly how much, so we're gonna just go with how much I've seen the people on there, but this should be enough. All right, now we're gonna get the beef broth and add it to this mix. All right, I'm adding the beef broth. Listen, uh, not correct. Then we're gonna add the whipping cream. And add the whipping cream. Be my man. If you ain't got no money, you can't even get a glance. Know your worth. It's something in this purse. Deep in my bag, like Mary Poppins on a purse. I 